Okay, so I'm sitting in my car right now. The workout today requires a lot of balls. So grab your balls and head to the gym. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Head into the gym, and that might sound a little, a little disturbing to you, but you'll see what I mean in just a few minutes. All right, this move that I'm gonna show you right now is called the impossible slash possible. Because you try and you try and you can't get it done, but you do it enough times, you practice enough, you can make it happen. Okay, so as you can see, there's my med ball, or my stability ball there, my medicine ball, somewhere out there, right there. That is a tough move. I was able to get done uh, 20 of them, but there at the end I was struggling. My leg, your legs start going side to side, so the idea there is just to kind of get your feet on both sides of the stability ball. Uh, the better you get, the closer your feet will come together. The, uh, when you first start out, the further your feet will be apart. So give that one a try. Uh, just trying to get up there and balance on it for the first time is, is difficult. It's tough. Okay, so this move here is going to be called three ball plyo push-ups. We're going to jump around from one med ball combination to another med ball combination. So there's three med balls. The middle ball will be used every single time but it'll be used for a different hand every single time. So you're gonna transfer from one to the other. The balls will move from time to time. So it's always interesting. You never know what kind of push you're gonna be doing. I try to start out in regular push-up fashion and a lot of times I end up in military push-ups uh, push or sometimes really wide push-ups. So we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Here it comes. So as you can see, they didn't move too much for me today. That's a good thing. I did get some almost militaries in there, but once I jumped the one time, I kind of flipped it a little with my thumb to get it to move out a little bit more. The bad thing is that sometimes when you do that, the ball goes too far one direction. If you use a mat, it helps a little bit. This is not a real spongy mat. If you get a thicker mat, they'll stay a little bit even better. But the idea is not for them to stay. You wanna make adjustments, as you can see, those kind of push-ups will make you tired. But wow, what a good workout. All right, next move, elevated stability push-ups. So we're gonna put the feet up on the bench, and then the hands are gonna be on a stability ball. So we'll see how this goes. Fingers down.
you go. 25 of those. Again, fingers down, uh, wrists right up underneath your shoulders. Uh, that way it keeps you from uh, hurting the wrists or, or avoiding the hands slipping off the side. So make sure your hands are dry before you get started with that. Okay, so the next move is going to be called a swimmer's push-up on med balls. So our hands will be on the med balls and then uh, we're going to go opposite leg, opposite foot in the air after each push-up. So basically you got one hand on a medicine ball and one foot on the ground and everything else is off the ground. So it takes some balance, takes some practice, but with time you'll get it. Um, if you can do them, obviously the best way to start with these is just do them uh, using the floor and then uh, work your way up to the medicine balls. First few times you do it, it'll take a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. And uh, then it helps work with all those small twitch muscles and the, uh, and the core especially. All right, so that's just the regular swimmers. An advanced version of that, I'll show you in a little bit, but uh, keep it basic for now. But as you can see, those are tough, especially when you first get started. I was actually looking like right about here when I first got started, just a little bit out front. I was throwing my balance off a little bit. I had to tap the ball a few times look out a little bit further and I got my balance better. So getting those eyes out in front of you instead of looking straight down is gonna benefit you. All right, next move's coming. Right now for a very basic ball push-up, med ball push-up, it's just gonna be double wides. So you're just gonna go real wide, as wide as you can with the balls without your hands slipping off, of course. So they'll be just a little bit beyond shoulder width, your wrist will be turned out just a hair, kind of almost a little bit on the inside of the med ball. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm still down here on the floor. Just got doing doing a different exercise, but this one that I'm going to show you, you, if you've been following along at all, you've seen me do four ball push-ups and also the three med ball mountain climber push-ups. So I'm just going to do a few reps of those because I got a couple more that I want to show you. But uh, this is what th those two exercises look like. Okay, so, <laughs> falling all over the place. So for four med ball push-ups, you wanna get, put the bigger balls in the front, smaller balls in the back. Preferably, the, the bigger the med balls, the easier it is. So I prefer to do 12, 12, 12, and 12. That would be what I used to do all the time. 
but I don't have four 12s anymore. So I have to use eights at the back. This makes it a lot more difficult, the smaller the ball. So what I do is I get my strong leg up on the first ball. And I get my hands right up underneath my shoulders. And then I worry about that last ball. So I just kind of rotate it back, get it into position, and then make sure I'm stable like this. So now I'm just in plank and I could stay here for quite a little while or I can slowly, now the first time you're doing it, you just wanna slowly go down. But as you get comfortable, you can just start knocking them out. And then you wanna do a set of as many as you can. I like to do about 25. All right, now, for the next one, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This becomes very difficult, because again, if I, do about 12 of these in a set. I'm real happy. Today, I'll show you three or four of them <laughs> as I'm already tired. But you also want to do the four ball push-ups and the three ball push-ups towards the beginning of your routine. I'm putting them here at the end just because we're just showing you a bunch of different variations today. You can put these in any order you want. So what I do here is I get both hands on and both feet on, and I sit here, and then what? how you do the mountain climb, so you're gonna do your push-up, and then you rotate the ball over, keeping the left foot on, you bring the right foot up, and then you're gonna put it back, rotate it over, well, you're gonna do your push-up, then you rotate it over, and you bring the left foot up. When you're doing your push-up, both feet are right in the middle of the ball. When you're doing your mountain climber, it's on the edge of the ball, okay? And again, you don't wanna take, as you get more and more stable, you wanna take less and less time. Because the longer you just stay up here, the more difficult it gets on your core. But as you can see, this isn't just about chest. Uh, when you're doing a lot of your push-ups, you're thinking about chest and maybe your high back, maybe some tricep work. But this is gonna be your shoulders, your chest, your triceps, your back, your quads, your abs, your lower back to keep it up there. It's a lot of different things that are activated here. All right, just a couple more moves that I wanna show you. This is some more advanced moves. So what you're gonna do is just two med balls. You can do the sidearm balance this way, where you just go like this, or you can do it this way with a leg raise. Okay, so that's that one. The next one is one I was telling you a little bit earlier. So this is an advanced move. You're going to do the down like this, up, swimmer's press, knee in, then here, and if you want, you can add the leg raise, all in one move. So in stages, it's one, two, three, four, and then five, and back down, one, two, whoop, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's just like that. And on that sidearm balance with the leg up, try to keep that butt in as much as you can. Sometimes for balance reasons, the butt will kind of leak out a little bit. Try to hit that side oblique on both sides uh, as you do that move. So that's another couple great moves for push-ups using balls. 
All right, these are tricep explosion push-ups. I don't know what you want to call them. Plyo push-ups, I guess. It's gonna look like this. Wide feet. So it's down. Fifteen of those. That's good. I'm sure there's more things you can do with med balls and stability balls, but that's what I've got for you for today. Hope you enjoy those different moves. And if you got any ideas, you got any that you might have, uh, or if you even have a YouTube link to some of these different moves with medicine balls or stability balls, go ahead and comment below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll try to keep throwing up some new, unique, interesting things um, as time goes on. But always trying to add some fun to the workout is important. Otherwise, you just get bored of the same old, same old. All right, see you another day.